Hi everyone and welcome to our next tutorial. In this video we're going to figure out how we can accept input using our Arduino microcontroller. And there's a number of different ways we can do that. We can do that with a push button. We could do that with a potentiometer. But we're going to take a look at how a push button works. So what we want to be able to do is either turn something on or off whatever that might be using a push button so we can see the push button is here and it's connected to pin 7 of the Arduino it's really important that we understand how we get the input state or voltage correct when it comes to wiring up a push button circuit in order to do that we can either use a pull up resistor circuit or a pull down resistor circuit. If we take a look at this one in green this is a pull up resistor circuit and if we connected it to the Arduino it would look like this here. And if there's a push button here and a pull up resistor here what is the voltage currently going in to pin 7 if the push button is not pushed? Well, if it's not pushed, this is an open circuit. And what's important to understand is if there is no current flow because it's an open circuit, there is no voltage drop or change across this resistor. So right here, this is 5 volts and since there's no current flowing because this push button is not pushed it's actually 5 volts right at this point here in other words right at the input so if the push button's not pushed there's no current flow and there is 5 volts going in to that pin 7 now if this push button is pushed and we do complete the circuit here now current is flowing and now we know that there is 5 volts here and since this is the only resistor in this circuit all the voltage drop must drop across here according to Kirchhoff's voltage law so that means if there's a 5 volts at this point here there's a 5 volt drop ac across here then this must be zero volts going in to pin 7 of the Arduino. That is a pull-up resistor circuit. If we take a look at a pull-down resistor circuit, so this one here in orange, again, if the push button is not pushed, that means no current is flowing in this circuit. That means at this point right here, which is ground, we have zero volts. And as we said, if there's no current flowing, there cannot be any voltage drop across this resistor. So if this is zero volts, this point here in this part of the circuit must be zero volts. And that means that there is zero volts going in to pin seven. Now, if this push button is pushed, this completes the circuit. Now current flows from here to here if we're following conventional current that means that as current flows here all the voltage drop happens across here this point here is 5 volts and this point here must be 0 volts so we have 5 volts going into our port pin 7 so how do you know the difference between a pull-up resistor circuit and a pull-down resistor circuit? Well, just look for the resistor and see if one side's connected to 5 volts and the input is on the other side of the resistor. That's a pull-up resistor circuit. If the resistor is connected to ground and the other side of the resistor is connected to the input of the microcontroller, that is a pull-down resistor circuit so if we take a look at what we have built here we have a resistor here this is our pull down resistor this is connected 
to ground and on the other side this is connected to the input to the microcontroller so that means if this simulator is running which let's start the simulator that means when the push button is not pushed that means since this is connected to ground this is zero volts right here and this point here is zero volts anything in this row when I push the push button it changes to 5 volts so as I'm pushing now it's 5 volts when I let go it's 0 volts all of the voltage drop must drop across this resistor here that makes this point 5 volts when the circuit is completed so that's how we can create an input signal into an Arduino we can use a pull up resistor circuit or we can use a pull down resistor circuit the main thing to remember is if the push button is not pushed that means that in this case here if it's not pushed there's no voltage drop across here if this is zero volts this must be zero volts at this point here going in to pin 7 and remember if the push button is pushed that means now current is running through this circuit this is 0 volts and now there's a voltage drop across this resistor because now it's a closed circuit this must be 5 volts we've got 5 volts going to pin 7 when the push button is pushed I hope that makes it clear how we set up an input with Arduino. That's it for this tutorial. We'll talk to you soon.